Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum and welcome again to my online ICD class. Here I am with you, Muhammad Ashikur Rahman, lecturer, Department of ICT, Milestone College. Loptical. From this video, you would learn how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and finally, average by algorithm and flowchart. So let's start. First one, to find out the addition of two numbers, write algorithm and draw the flowchart. Left side, algorithm and right side, flowchart. So start. Step one, start. And in the flowchart, you can see they are also start in oval shape. You must use oval shape for start and stop. Second step, input two numbers A, B. I use A, B. It's not fixed. You can change it. You can use X, Y because of uh, there in the question there are two numbers that's unknown number. And in the flowchart, uh, there will be parallelogram input AB. You must use parallelogram for input and output. Step 3. Add two numbers. Sum equal to A plus B. I used here processing box because of any types of formula you, you should use processing box. Number 4. Print the result. I used here parallelogram, another parallelogram for output function print sum step 5 stop here I use oval shape stop so there's the algorithm and flowchart to find out the addition of two numbers you have to remember and use only three shapes first one oval shape that's used for start and stop parallelogram shape only used for input and output here remember we are taking unknown values x y z or a b c as uh, you wish you can use anything any alphabet it's not fixed here another on rectangle shape only used for processing box for any types of formula based question you must always use those five steps don't mistake to draw this shape if you do mistake you will not get marks it's very easy just need your concentration so let's do the second one to find out the subtraction of two numbers write algorithm and draw the flowchart again algorithm step one start for flowchart oval shape start step two input two numbers a b we use input a b in parallelogram step three subtract two numbers I use here sub equal to a minus b because of subtraction we are finding subtraction step 4 print the re result print sub this is parallelogram shape you can see step 5 stop I used here stop this is also over shape oval shape oval shape we use start and stop now you do you can do multiply and divide between two or three numbers here i am giving some exercise number one to add flow four numbers write algorithm and draw the flowchart number two to multiply four numbers write algorithm and draw the flowchart another exercise here i given you uh, a stem you can see number three from the stem draw the flowchart here you can see another question to find out the summation of 7 5 15 numbers write algorithm and draw the flowchart you can see I am giving I have given you three numbers or values 7 5 15 now you need to use those three numbers to solve the problem you can see there is a change in the flowchart 
guess what yes right you were there is no input box there is no need any input box because three numbers already given to you and those numbers are known value i am repeating again if there is a unknown values in the questions then you have to use input box and put xyz or abc as you wish on the other hand if there is known value then you don't need to use input box in the problem you should use like uh, x equal to 7 or y equal to 5 or z equal to 15 next question to find out the average of two numbers write algorithm and draw the flowchart here what is average an average is the result that you get when you add two or more numbers together and divided by the total number you add it together so you can see left side algorithm and right side flowchart here i use right side flowchart two processing box you can see that start input x y then sum equal to x plus y ever is equal to sum by 2 why i use here sum divided by 2 because there are two numbers i added two numbers together and divided by total number here total number is 2 if i uh, give you a question like uh, find out the average of three numbers what should you do you do x uh, sum equal to x plus y plus z you uh, you should add here z another variable then ever is equal to sum divided by 3 why 3 because here total number is 3 here's some uh, here another example for you from the stem write down the algorithm right side uh, flowchart and you have to write the algorithm I think it is very easy now you can easily solve th those problems now i am giving some comprehensive question for you number one what are the preconditions of algorithm explain number two the symbols uh, used in a flowchart can be different in size but not in shape explain it number three algorithm and flowchart are not same explain it number four explain the different symbols for program flowchart Number five, write the rules of drawing flowchart. Number six, why do we use program flowchart? Explain it. And number seven, write the difference between algorithm and flowchart. Submit those answers to me. Thank you, my dear students. Hope this video helped you a lot to understand algorithm and flowchart. Keep practicing and if you have any problem related to this video you can ask me i'm here to help you before leaving i must say stay home and stay safe allah hafiz assalamu alaikum